my frames, you know, connected. You, um, so let's define purlins and side rails if beams. And again, I can leverage my outputs from the previous node. So here I need um, a list of list of rafters. So I can so I, I simply take these beams and connect with this input. There we go. Of course, I would like to have some offsets defined on both sides, so I can do it easily. So 25 centimeters, and my offsets are defined. Um, if I want to define, you know, side rails if beams, I connect my columns with columns and uh, and I need to define you know um, position um, Z uh, Z coordinate of, of, of their position so it I can do it in form of uh, a list so let's say it's 225 and 4.5 I could also reference to the height of the column if I have an input parameter here, right? So then I wouldn't need to type them in a list. I would simply reuse this uh, parameter. That would be, this is how it should uh, work, but we don't have time you know, to define all these input parameters right now. So if I connect, bang, there we go. So a few missing things here, but we can easily add uh, bracings, V bracings, X bracings. Uh, let's define you know X bracings in the roof roof plane and V bracings in my uh, wall plane. Uh, so I need uh, I have two inputs here. Points and zones. What is a what is a zone? A zone is a spacing between frames. So zone number one is here, right? Here is zone number one, and this is the second, third, fourth, and fifth. So I would like to have my spacing in, uh, defined for zone one and zone five. So let's do this. Let's connect those two inputs and let's find some right points to be connected. Super easy, you know, to create, you know, such frame to be later used for analysis, for further design, detailed design to be generated in Revit. Um, we can we could generate this frame in Revit, then automatically add still connections to it. No problem, no obstacles. Uh, you may say, okay, uh, these bracings are not. Um, there, there are too many of them. I don't want to have them uh, connected in that way. You can also. Uh, You can also uh, change that. So let me do it quickly. Well, so where's my hmm, my mouse? Okay. So I will take every every second element from my output. I will define an offset. This is uh, this is the list I will take these points, and I will make sure the right level is defined. And there we go. Do you see the difference? How bracing bracings have been changed right now. So nothing stops you, you know, to to even do such tweaks with your with your design model. Okay, um, that would be it on the structural design package.